My name is Ray, and my partner name is Jay, and we are land investors. In less than three years, the land business has changed our lives in ways we can only imagine. We want to show you how to do the same exact thing we have did to change our family's future forever, just as you can for yours. Welcome to Land and Legacy. My name is Jay. My name is Ray. And we are the Acre Boys. And today's topic that we're bringing today is, what does it take to be a successful land investor? So if I was just coming off of the top of my head and saying, what does it take to be successful? The first thing I'm going to go with is I'm going to say, definitely, you're going to have to be coachable. Because when people come from different places, and I'll take you, uh, I'll take you back and forth from another story that we had. Like everybody knows who's been following us for any point in time. We used to do our uh, tax deeds a lot. That's how we first got our initiation into the actual land game. So what happened was the guys that we were studying with under that time, they told us, have you ever done any tax deed investing before? And we said, no. What well, he said, I'm glad you said that. And I said, why did you say that? He said, let me tell you why I'm glad. I'm glad that you said that because it's hard for you to unlearn bad habits. I'd rather teach you coming in fresh as opposed to bring, bringing some other things that you already had with you that probably don't work well. But being that you think that they're, they're true going along that level, what happens is you're going to bring those old experiences into something to a whole new different way of teaching. So that's one of the things that I would say off the top. Definitely, you're going to have to be teachable. What else would you have to be? I would say you're going to have to learn how to uh, follow direction. You're going to have to... Do a couple of things as far as looking at maps, about uh, talking to sellers, understanding how to actual negotiate, and a lot of different things like that. So it's, when it comes to being successful, and this is just not in the land business, this is just in anything. When it comes to being successful, be a student first. And I think that's something that we've uh, become really good at. You know, we even still seek mentorship to this day for people who are doing way better than us. So just be a student of the game, like an old proverb that I heard a long time ago. A wise man never knows all, only a fool knows everything. We keep a white belt mentality when it comes to this because I know there are different things that are going to come inside of this business, new tools, new technology and everything. And if I'm not open to that because I swear by what I'm doing, just specifically and solely, what happens is I'm gonna shut myself off from any other form of actual guidance from somebody who could prob probably be doing it on a higher level than me. So that's my spiel as far as what some of the things that you need to do in order to become a successful land investor. Um, to become a successful land investor, I would say, uh, you know, it's many vehicles, right? Um, we're just using a vehicle that's labeled land, land investor. Um, everything works. If you work it, we're doing land. Uh, I would say dive in quickly, get an education on the space. That would be the, my, my the, probably the best thing that I would recommend is that get an education on the space before you start investing a whole lot of money. Maybe you want to start slow, investing a little bit of money, and uh, maybe making a little bit of money as you're learning. And then once you feel more comfortable and you have the lingo, right? Because words mean something, right? Once you know these definitions, uh, it makes you feel a little more comfortable too. Once you know the same definitions as the people that you're buying from or selling to, you feel like um, I'm able to do well in this space once you understand the different terminologies, right? Because terminologies and words, they give you an understanding. You have an understanding, you're more comfortable and the further you can invest or you should feel more comfortable to invest at that point once you have an understanding. So I think that's the biggest thing that I would say is just get an education uh, of the space. When we first got started, you know, we were only buying for $50, $50 a pop. So it wasn't like a big risk that we were taking as far as from a financial standpoint. Um, we, we didn't mind gambling on 50 bucks as opposed to $5,000 a pop. So um, we started there. But if you're coming in and you're doing large acreage out the gate, when I say large acreage, I'm speaking of anything uh, from a one acre on up. Uh, if you're doing large acreage and you have to spend two to 3,000 or above at a time, 
definitely get an education on the space so you don't be you won't lose money coming out the gate the name of the game is to make money uh when we got involved we bought a few bad deals but we did have at least enough knowledge under our belt uh, to check for certain things. We didn't know to check for everything from A to Z, but at that time we did check at least from A through M. We got halfway through our checkpoint. And um, you know, luckily for us, those deals didn't burn us. We still were able to turn a profit on those deals. Um, and that's just from the early, the early stages of us, the learning and the teachings that we had learned mm -hmm. at that point. Um, same thing as Jay said, keep that white belt mentality. You don't think you, you ever know it all. Um, it's always some new things to learn. There's different aspects of the land game. It's not just about buying and selling. I mean, there's builders. Maybe one day you you may, even ourselves, mm -hmm. we may see ourselves um, building some things out at some point. So it's always something new to learn. The timber game, the minimal rights game. Um, different places have different laws, bylaws, different places. So just keep that white belt mentality, get involved and you'll do well. If you keep that, you keep all those things and you educate yourself first, you'll do well. And as I always say, um, especially on this YouTube channel, I'm not trying to sell you here. I'm just trying to um, give you my experience. And if we can help some people along the way, that's great. Um, Get, you, get underneath somebody that you can train under, whether that's us or a different program. Get underneath somebody that you can train under that has some knowledge and that has done some things that you haven't done already and uh, grow with them. Stay inside that group forever or until the point you feel like you're able to stand on your own. That's exactly what we did. Uh, we learned the tax D game to uh, the group. We're still inside of the group that we learned it from, but we don't really tap in with them as much as we once did in the beginning because we able to stand on our own at this point. Yeah, so I think, uh, you know, with, with, all, with all of that said, I think, you know, just everybody coming to a place and point in their life. Uh, we're coming to a, a, a different time right now, which is all this artificial intelligence you hear everybody talking about. And our, our major thing to every one, of, every one of you that's listening out there, definitely it's time for you to develop some new skills, some new skills. We were just talking about yesterday, we were talking about, you know, what uh, the average employee is being taxed. You know what I mean? The average employee gets taxed 51 percent, 51 percent. So if you're making 60, you're really making closer to 30. If you're at 140, you know, you slashing that in half, you're at closer to 70. So what are some different avenue and revenue streams that you can get into yourself that's going to be able uh, to allow you to generate a different kind of money? Like a lot of people don't even know as far as businesses are concerned. You see, when you're an employee, they take tax directly from you. You know, when you are self-employed or you're, you're employed by yourself, or whatever the case may be, what happens is you get taxed on one le what's left over. So big, big difference. You're getting all of your money and even if you spend it, whatever you do inside of your business and personal things, those are all taken into account before you you're even get taxed on what's left over. So, you know, my thing is just come into the new year with a new skill set and some different things that could change your life. And it may not be land. It could be stocks. It could be crypto. It could be Forex. It could be any of these things. But just like my partner said, get involved with some people that are already doing it on a high level. Mimic and model their behavior. That's a cheat code to success right there. So wrapping up, like, comment, subscribe, all of those different kind of things right there. And until the next time, catch y'all on the next one. Peace. By the way, come join the Land and Legacy program. I mean, we're great, great at what we do. So come learn from us. If you look like me or anybody else that's looking to learn from us, join that Land and Legacy program. We'll catch you on the next one. One more thing. Also, too, um, also, go ahead and uh, purchase the ebook. If you're even interested, you don't know anything about doing the actual uh, business, go ahead and purchase the ebook. The ebook is only $20. You can go ahead and at least that'll give you a frame of mind and get you in the direction of what we're actually doing. You'll see some of the steps and procedures, even if you're on the fence on it. At least that you'll get more educated in the process before you actually jump into the program. So, with that said, catch y'all on the next one. Peace.